in this tutorial i'll show you how to use the scanner of your epson xp4200 or xp4100 series printer it's very easy so the scanner is located over here you can open the scan lid like this take the paper you want to scan and place it facing down now you need to align the corner of your paper with the corner where the arrow is. So just glide it until it touches like this. Now you can use the scanner with a smartphone, computer, or you can also use the scanner to make a copy. I'll show you how to make a copy and then I'll show you how to connect to a smartphone to be able to scan and share the file on internet or to store it on your device. So to make a copy, you need to have some paper inser inserted in the paper tray like this then extend this panel over here on the printer screen you're gonna have to select what kind of paper size you have input if everything is fine just select close press ok and on the printers um, screen over here you're gonna select copy and press the OK button. Then you need to select if you want a black and white copy or a color copy. In my case, I want a black and white, so I'll click on this left arrow to select black and white and click OK. Then you have multiple options. You can go down with these arrows, but uh, don't touch them. I think they're just uh, perfect the way they're already set up. You can select how many copies you want. In my case, I just want one, but let's say you're a teacher, you want 30 copies, just navigate with these arrows until you, you're selected the number and with the plus sign and minus, you can add or remove copies. Then all it's left to do is to press this button over here once, then press the button again. And this is how you scan and then make the copy. Now let me show you how to scan using a smartphone so you can transfer the file or store it. On your phone, you need to go on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store and download the Epson Smart Panel app. It's very important you download this app and not the other Epson app, which could be confusing since it's called Epson iPrint. Do not download this one, download the other one. You need to go on the printer itself, make sure it's turned on. This is the main menu of the printer. You're going to use those arrows to navigate and the OK button to select. You're going to go until you see settings and then press OK. Then you're going to go down until you see network settings. Select it and press OK. Press OK again, since Wi-Fi setup is already selected. Make sure that the first option here, Wi-Fi, is selected. Press on it. And press OK again. Press OK again to select Wi-Fi setup wizard. And now it will look for your home network. Or if you're at the office, your office network. From this list, you can navigate using these arrows and select yours. Press OK. And now you have to enter the password. Press OK again. And using these keys, you're going to enter it. If you want the numbers, you just need to go down there, press OK, and you'll have access to symbols and numbers as well. Once you're done typing your password, select OK and press OK. Then you're going to select Start Setup and press OK. All you have to do is to wait, don't do anything, don't touch any buttons. It will do the connection by itself. Perfect, we have the blue check mark. This means that this printer is now connected to your home wireless network. Now take your phone and open the app. Press next, next, 
only this time and here you'll have a list of all the printers that are detected by the app you should select XP4200 series or 4100 series tap on it and you should have this screen saying connection is complete press OK you may have to choose between if you want a menu of the app to be with cards or tiles choose tiles it will look like this one over here this is the main menu of the app very easy to use and you're going to press this green scan button here you're going to select the document size let's just scan this paper so it's eight by a half eight and a half by 11 inches i want the scan to be in color so i'll leave it like this resolution very important here click on it if you're scanning a picture where resolution so details are very important you're going to select high 600 dpi if you're just scanning text like in my case 200 is enough so i'll leave it at 200 and here there's automatic rotation you can leave this on finally you need to select in which format you want the scan to be in so this is PDF pre-selected you can click on it and select between JPEG and TIFF if you're scanning pictures you're gonna probably select JPEG but in my case again this is just one paper with text so I'll leave it at PDF before pressing the start button you're gonna come over here open this lid take the paper put it facing down like this and align it with this corner so what I mean by this is simply push it until the corner of the paper meets the corner of the printer over here then you can close the scan lid and press the start button you just have to wait if you're scanning at a higher resolution than 200 it will take more time okay we're done so this is the scan you can even zoom in to see the details as I saw as I told you if you're scanning text 200 is plenty of plenty of details for a text now let's say you have a document with multiple pages and you want to combine them in one single PDF well in this case now it's time to remove this paper and let's say this is page number two you're gonna put it the same way align it with this corner close and you're gonna select this plus button on the lower left side and it will scan the second page once you're done the second page will be displayed over here and you can do this with as many pages you have if you have 10 20 you just have to lift put the new the new paper press the plus button and it will just continue to add on once you're done you're gonna press next you're gonna choose a file name you can type and give it your personal file name so let's say test scan Epson location is where do you want the file to be saved on your smartphone so click on it and select where on your smartphone you want this PDF file or JPEG file to be saved let's say I want it to be in documents you're gonna select use this folder allow and then press save if you want to share this uh, scan press this button over here and you'll be able to share it in different apps or by messenger you'll have all these options over there to save it just press save it will give you this message press yes and you're done scanning thanks for watching I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please leave a comment down below, a like, subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one.